Welcome to Poetry Day 7. Today we're exploring simile and metaphor. We're going to read I Love the Look of Words by Maya Angelou. Before we start today, briefly review the poems that you have written. Are you including sensory details? What sounds have you intentionally included in a poem? What decisions have you made about what the poem looks like on the page? Where is a place you used repetition? These are all the elements that you should be including in your work each day. Okay, let's read and discuss I Love the Look of Words by Maya Angelou. Vocabulary to look out for? A skillet is a frying pan. Gobbles means eats. And perfuming, making something smell like perfume. Here we go. Popcorn leaps, popping from the floor of a hot black skillet and into my mouth. Black words leap snapping from the white page, rushing into my eyes, sliding into my brain which gobbles them the way my tongue and teeth chomp the buttered popcorn. When I have stopped reading, ideas from the words stay stuck in my mind, like the sweet smell of butter perfuming my fingers long after the popcorn is finished. I love the book and the look of words, the weight of ideas that popped. I love the tracks of new thinking in my mind. What do you notice about this poem? Did you notice there's three stanzas? And the poet uses words like The poet uses words like gobbles them up, right? How her brain gobbles up the words. Mm -hmm. according, according to this poet, what is reading like? Did you notice how the poet talks, talks about reading being like popcorn, popping, right? Or eating popcorn? What words does the poet use to help us understand that reading words is like eating popcorn? So in this case, reading is like eating popcorn because the words, they pop off the page, right? The black words leap snapping from the white page. And they rush into my eyes, just as if you're eating popcorn, the, the popcorn is popping from the pan, and you take it, and you put it in your mouth. It slides into my brain, which gobbles them the way a tongue and teeth chomp it. And so as you're reading, you're imagining all of the words are like the popcorn just coming into your brain. And then when... The, you're done reading the ideas this is the second stanza the ideas from the words stay stuck in the mind right just like after you're done eating popcorn uh, the butter the smell of the butter the scent right, stays on your fingers mm -hmm. let's move on this is called simile 
And poets often write about one thing as if it's like another thing, or compare one thing to another. When you compare one thing to another using words like or as, it's called a simile. Something is like something else, right? or it's as something else. That's a literary term called simile. Poets also write about one thing as if it's another thing, and that's called metaphor. And we're going to hear another poem uh, that we've read earlier, Child Frightened by a Thunderstorm. And in that poem, the poet uses metaphor to explain how thunder uh, is like a giant bird uh, nestling in the grass. This uh, poem is called A Child Frightened by a Thunderstorm by Ted Kuser. Thunder has nested in the grass all night and rumpled it, and with its outstretched wings has crushed the peonies. Its beak was bright, sharper than garden shears, and clattering. It snipped bouquets of branches for its bed. I could not sleep. The thunder's eyes were red. So I noticed that this is uh, just one stanza, this poem. And what is thunder like? Well, thunder is like a big bird, right? Making a nest, like nesting in this child's front yard or backyard, right? It nested in the grass and it rumpled it up. Right, it's this big giant bird and it's making its its bed in this yard and it's outstretched wings right it's getting very comfortable and it's crushing all the flowers its beak was bright right so it had a sharp beak and it snipped bouquets of branches for its bed right? so it's it's taking the branches from the trees snipping them off and then making like a bird's nest for its bed and this caused me not to sleep the thunder's eyes were red so part uh, so thunder is like a giant bird with red eyes okay. the poet writes as if the thunder is a giant bird with red eyes this is metaphor. This is metaphor. The words that the poet uses to help us understand that thunder is a giant bird with big red eyes, right? We've talked about this, uh, it nesting in the grass. Uh, it has outstretched wings. It has a beak. Uh, it snipped bouquets of branches for its bed, right? and it has red eyes. Okay, these are the two things we're focused on today, simile and metaphor. Simile is when you compare things using like or as, and metaphor is a little more subtle, uh, but you're writing about one thing as if it's another thing. So I'd like you to take out your paper or your writing document and we're going to come up with some ideas. Words are like, and we're going to use some different words that you come up with. Okay, so in Maya Angelou's poem, words are like popcorn. What other things are words like? Hmm. Words are like ants marching across the page, right? With the typed letters, they're literally quick black ants marching across the page. Words are like puzzle pieces, they fit together.
Words are like birds that fly through your mind. Words are like letters that dance together. So what words or phrases can you come up with to compare uh, what words are like? Go ahead and write some of those down. So for writing today, you will come up with your own topic to write about. I encourage you to include simile or metaphor in your poem. Okay, so you're going to be comparing something or writing about something as if it's something else. Uh, you're coming up with your topic, but if you can't think of a topic, uh, the ocean, the brain, the earth are all great um, topics that you could write about to compare to other things. So I decided to write about hot sauce today and on the left my ideas for a poem that uses simile or metaphor and I wrote down what simile and metaphor are and then I started writing down uh, just off the top of my head whatever came to mind so first thing was jalapeno tongue on fire eyes popping out of my skull it'd be so hot it's like a fever dream like a sauna sweat forehead weeping like sweat like crying from my forehead weeping from my forehead habanero uh, hot as a red corvette so that's simile right hot as a red corvette and uh, i'm asking myself will this ever end wait a second i ordered this and to the right my finished poem i was thinking of form uh, I had this idea of writing my poem as if it kind of looked like a pepper. So I don't know if that uh, if that comes across, but um, I was trying to show it its shape uh, in the shape of a pepper. And here we go. Hot sauce. Jalapeno, fever dream, tongue on fire, and my head's weeping sauna sweat hot as a corvette eyes are popping out of my skull will it end when will it end wait there's seconds so uh include as many elements as you can right as far as repetition rhyming uh, read your poems out loud to hear the rhythm of the words there should be a certain rhythm to your poetry. Uh, think of the shape, right, or the form that the poem is written in. Uh, how many stanzas are you, are you going to have? How many lines are going to be on each stanza? Uh, can you include alliteration, right, when you have words that start with the same letter sound? Um, like... If you notice at the bottom of my poem, when will it end? When will it end? Wait. See how all those words start with the same letter sound? So that's alliteration. Uh, you definitely want to have simile or metaphor. That is the goal. So I have a simile where I say, uh, sauna sweat, hot as a Corvette. So those are the things that we need to remember when we write today. You guys are doing great. Keep it coming. Have an awesome day.